Hello, I'm Nathan Deal. Welcome to another edition of Real Jobs and Real People. We're here today in uh, Cartersville, Georgia, in Bartow County. We had a precast concrete business, a family-owned business. When you see one of these grates in a parking lot, I probably don't realize of all the concrete that goes underneath it. It's rebar reinforced, and this is a facility that makes these kind of products and many others. Let's go talk to the operator and the owner of this facility and learn more about what he does right here in Georgia. We're here today with Michael Tidwell from uh, Bartow Precast. Michael, thank you for letting us visit with you. Certainly, glad you're here. Why don't you tell the folks uh, what you do here at your company? We manufacture large commercial uh, precast concrete products, primarily to house um, commercial water meters and backflow prevention devices. Sold throughout the southeast, uh, of course, our main market being here in Georgia. Well, good. This is a family-owned business? It is, started in 1985 by my dad. Right. and. Uh, these big concrete containers we see behind us, what do they do? Uh, what we'll do is when uh, a contractor will put in a six or an eight inch water main, uh, there'll be a, a water meter there or a backflow prevention device, and these will go over and house them. Many times we'll go ahead and pre-assemble them with those meters and uh, more sensitive equipment here in our controlled environment. They come out to the job site and use our crane trucks to set them in place. Okay. Well, uh, I see that you have folks that are working. That's always nice in a downturned economy. How many folks do you have employed here? Uh, 21 people between the companies, and uh, we've, been, we've been very fortunate lately. Well, that's good. We are all hopeful of an upturn in the economy very soon, and hopefully your business will continue to expand. But what can the state of Georgia do to make your business more profitable and make it easy on you? Well, you know, uh, in these economic times, we've had to search uh, uh, our budget hard, and we've had a lot of cutbacks. We believe at one point we had cut all the uh, potential fat out of our budget. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's still a, a lot of taxes to be paid. And so I think that anything you can do uh, for, to, to reduce our taxes, also to bring on more industry and more business here. Uh, anytime large plants, uh, subdivisions are developed, we get a little part of that. So anything uh, that, that causes uh, growth in the state government uh, or in the uh, Georgia market helps us. So uh, taxes and regulations and licenses, those are the kinds of things that uh, you have to contend with. That's right. You know, there, there's a lot of government out there. So uh, certainly anything that can, uh, that can make it easier for a small business like ours uh, to do business the proper way and the right way and the legal way we always uh, are interested in, but certainly without all the red tape. Well, thank you. Appreciate your allowing us to be with you here Absolutely. today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Here again, we've had an opportunity to find out what's going on in Georgia. I believe Georgians need a governor that is solid as this piece of concrete to be able to stand up and support them in their efforts to create more jobs for our state. I'll be that kind of governor. If you'd like for me to come to your place of business, just send me an email at nathan at nathandeal.org. I look forward to seeing you in the future and thank you for joining us today for this edition of Real Jobs and Real People.